This is Duke University. Hello. This device translates sign language. So what we built here is a device to translate sign language to speech. We built this here at uh, the Hack Duke Hackathon. It's where hackers stay up for 24 hours and try to build the coolest thing they can. I grew up with a few deaf friends, uh, and I had picked up a few signs here and there, but we were by no means experts. But what we have built in, since we don't know that much sign language ourselves, is a way for you to be able to train it and have it learn new words. We'll train it for I love you. Here we go. And you ready with the sign? I love you. So when Zach made the sign for I love you, in the program, I gave it the label I love you. When Zach presses the button, the program will find a classification for the hand sign that he made. I love you. So the way this system works is you have your hand and you have five sensors on each of the fingers. You also have a gyroscope on the back of the hand. And both the gyroscope and the processing circuit are fed into this microcontroller. From there, the microcontroller is fed into another computer which acts as the actual brain of the entire system. The computer is fed into an amplifier which is then fed into the speakers. Thank you. So in the future with this product, what we really want to do is we want to push the product to something that you can just put on your wrist and have it integrated with your phone and then speak to Bluetooth speakers on your backpack, which would then be able to talk for you. Definitely for all of us, we all put together this crazy project which required everything that we learned so far as electrical engineers and computer scientists to get it to work and work so well. All of us actually will sign to each other in class now. Go. Blue. Apples. Produced by Duke University. Online at duke.edu.